Hello YouTube. So today I'd like to talk about this little device here. So this is an HP 100 uh, Doppler radar. Uh, it's available for a few dollars online. Uh, the reason I'm making this video is because uh, I was looking on YouTube for you know how to use this with an Arduino. And uh, there's two things I noticed. First is there are a lot of misconceptions out there about this device. And uh, people are usually using it wrong and uh, well I don't know how they're getting their readings and stuff but uh, they're not using it properly. The second thing is uh, this device is an extremely low power uh, device and uh, its signal that comes out from its output pin is so low that uh, typically the Arduino can't even read it so you need to use an external circuit to amplify that signal uh, uh, before you can use it effectively on a, on a, on a, on a microcontroller like an Arduino. So uh, I just like to talk about this device today and uh, demonstrate how it works, uh, talk about the inner mechanism a little bit and uh, some of the things that people are doing wrong. So without further ado, let's start. Okay, so the HP 100 Doppler radar. Now if you understand how Doppler works, um, you probably understand this unit a little bit more. So if um, I'm not going to go into the exact specifics of uh, how uh, Doppler, the Doppler effect and things like that. You can just look that up on YouTube if you're interested. Um, so I'll just talk about this device. Right, so the first thing is it comes like this and it's got this uh, sort of, you know, this PCB components, on, you know, flat components on this side and it looks like what's some, some kind of aluminum housing on the other side. So a lot of people, what they do is they kind of think that this is the front of the device and that's just completely wrong. This is the front of the device this side and you can see the antennae over here so there's two transmitters these two transmitting antennae and these two receiving antennae so depending on what you're trying to measure this is basically used to measure speed of an approaching or a receding object so depending on which whether you, you know you want to face it this way if your object is moving like this so let's let's just say that this is the object and I want to measure the speed of this Vaseline jar moving left and right I need to face the antenna in this direction, not the other way around. And uh, if you have any doubt about that, you can just look up the data sheet on the HP 100. And it's very clear that this is just some sort of protection. It's not, it's not that there's an antenna inside this. The antenna are on this side. So that's the most important thing. Right. Anyway, let's just open it up and see what's inside. Um, a little screwdriver, I think we can just pry this off. Do it really carefully. Okay. All right, let's open it up. And if you're interested, uh, there are videos on YouTube, uh, you know, specifically how it works inside in great detail, but I won't be going into that. So this is the device right here. And this is the oscillator, actually, this little, uh, little thing here. Uh, it it creates a frequency of 10.5 gigahertz which is in the it's actually a radar frequency in the x-ray band and then you have these connectors and uh, you know noise suppression elements and things like that uh, and then I won't go into all that it's not really important for us uh, when working with an Arduino but all you need to know is so there's two transmitting antennae these two little um, squares like structures here and there's two receiving antennae on this side now if you look at the output pins on this Okay, so this works on 5 volt DC. So you have ground here. Uh, I'm not sure if you can see that. Uh, yeah, probably not. Anyway, this is the ground pin. Uh, there's another ground pin on this side. And uh, this is 5 volt DC. Uh, the power supply to this uh, unit. And over here is the IF, which is the intermediate frequency output. Now how this works is, so it sends out 10.5 gigahertz this way. All right, and then depending on whether this object, the, the ref object from which that reflects off of, and then hits, so the radio waves go this way at 10.5 gigahertz, and then they reflect off this and come back and then picked up on the receiving side. Depending on whether this is moving towards or away from the uh, unit itself, the incoming received the echo frequency will be different from that which went out. So that's the Doppler effect. You can look that up. And so if you subtract the two, the incoming frequency and the outgoing frequency, and you subtract them, and that's what you get here out on this IF pin. Again, at a very, very low voltage in the milli milliampere uh, range. 
So you need to amplify this voltage before you can use it uh, on an Arduino. And uh, we'll come to that in the next video. So let me just put this unit back together and then I'll demonstrate how it works. All right, so uh, here we are back again. And uh, let me just explain this setup to you. Uh, so this is just an Arduino. I'm just using this for uh, providing power supply to this uh, five volt to this um, to the HP 100 radar. And here's the HP 100. I'll just tilt my camera a little bit. You can see that the sensor is facing this way. All right, so it's got uh, five volt uh, power supply. It's got a ground connection. And this little white lead is coming from the IF uh, pin, so the intermediate frequency pin which is basically the difference of, uh, you know, this, it's, it's subtracted the outgoing wave and the incoming wave, and it's giving that output on this pin. So I've taken that to the oscilloscope, and uh, you can see the output of that there. You, if you, I'm not sure if you can see the, uh, if you can see the, yeah, you can see that over there, the, 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 um, uh, the, 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 the scale is set to 20 millivolts on channel A. We are listening to channel A. So you can see that's a really low signal which the Arduino ordinarily couldn't pick up on its own. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to move my hand back and forth. So just look at the signal. Watch that signal on the oscilloscope. You can see it's pretty steady. But as I move my hand, you can see if I move my, if I move my hand, you can see the signal changing. All right. And we need to count those pulses. Those, the number of pulses that you get, you can see if I move my hand slowly, see, I move it away and closer. And if I move it slowly, you can see the frequency of those pulses is quite low. But if I move it fast, you'll find that they all group together at a high frequency. See that? See, I'm moving my hand faster now. So the idea is that the frequency of those pulses that you see is representative of the speed at the relative speed at which this object is moving. So let me, so there's no movement, you'll see nothing. And if I start moving slowly, you'll start seeing pulses appearing because there's a now there's a difference in the outgoing and the incoming frequencies. And that's what's being shown over there. Right. And if I move fast, you can see that the frequency uh, is pretty high. So we need to figure out a way to amplify the signal and then count those pulses. And from that, we do some mathematics and then calculate this, the relative speed between the radar sensor and uh, the object that's moving in front of it. So you just keep in mind, it's not the absolute speed of this, uh, of my hand. It's always the relative speed of uh, the, the relative velocity between the radar and the object that's, um, you know, the echoes are coming from. So I hope that's clear how this device works. And... Uh, you notice that if I hold it this way, so let me try and move my hand. So this is the this is the side that some people put in front, okay? And they, they, they mistakenly do that. So let's see if I move my hand around here. Let's see if it's uh, if it picks up anything. And you can see very clearly that it doesn't. So you know, there's there's nothing happening on the oscilloscope except for a little bit of noise. All right, as I move my hand here. But as soon as I move my hand here, you can see very clearly, you can see the waves, the the intermediate frequency uh, being displayed over there. So you always got to remember that this is the front side of the device. You see that? And it's not showing you distance like a normal radar would. This is only showing you relative speed uh, in the form of those pulses. So this is the antenna side. This is the side that should be facing forward. If I turn it the other way and I move my hand here, it's a lot of wires, but you can see the pulses aren't as clear at all. In fact, there you go. That's better. So there's no, there's no, there's no, if I'm, I'm actually moving my hand off screen, you can't see that, but there's, there's, um, there's nothing on the oscilloscope. Whereas if I move my hand here, you can see the pulses are very, very clear. So that's how the instrument works. So now let's talk about how we're going to amplify the signal and, uh, you know, into usable range, into usable voltage range where the Arduino can uh, sense it and count the pulses. So let me set that up for you. For that, we'll be using an op amp. So I'm using this... Uh, 741 IC op amp and uh, once I have this setup done I'll, I'll 
have a tutorial on um, how this works. So this was just a video about this um, HB100 radar and I just wanted to clear up some misconceptions as to which is the front of the radar and a more visual representation of how it works. So uh, just stay tuned and uh, pretty soon I'll upload a video of um, the the radar once I have and the it's running with the op amp and um, there you can see as I move my fingers there's there's hardly any uh, any pulses on the wrong if I do it on the wrong side but as soon as I do it on this side you can see the pulses come very clearly so that's the HB 100 uh, Doppler radar thank you for watching and uh, stay tuned and I'll be uploading the video of the um, the op amp circuit and the Arduino code of actually how to calculate uh, the velocity between the two, between the trans, the well, you know, the, the radar and the uh, object that's reflecting. Thank you.